Welcome back. I know you're all so excited to see me again. It's Mr. Courtney, and today is our first writing lesson online. It's kind of weird. Okay, so today I'm going to be using a flea map. You all know what a flea map is. It's a flow map with a tree map. So I'm going to give you guys a second right now. Get out some pens, get out some papers, pause the video, make your flea map. Don't forget your section for the introduction. Don't forget your three body paragraphs. And don't forget your conclusion, okay? As soon as that's done, unpause the video and come right back to me. Got it? Okay, no, seriously, pause right now. Okay, and you're back. All right, so today I'm going to be writing a report. I'm going to be writing a non-fiction report. And if you remember in class, there's a couple of things I need to make sure that I put in here to remind myself of what goes in here. So the first thing is I'm going to have a hook. Otherwise, people get bored. I'm going to have a main idea. I'm going to have some background information. Not like a whole life story. Because like that would be like super lame. But a little bit, right? A little bit of background. Like, you know, let me tell you about my childhood. And then I'm going to give a little preview. Easy, right? We know what goes in the conclusion. You know how Mr. Courtney always likes to to go back down to the bottom bun of the hamburger here. So I just want to remind you in the conclusion, we're going to restate the thesis or the main idea, if you want to call it that. We're going to sum it up. We all remember what that is, but I'll go over that in a minute. Then we're going to give our opinion because the conclusion is the place where that goes. And you know, Mr. Courtney, how dramatic I am. So we're gonna have a nice dramatic finish, okay? So again, we got four things in the beginning, four things in the end. Now we want our body paragraphs. And of course, if I'm gonna be writing a report, a nonfiction is gonna be about one idea. My idea, my main idea, is what I'm gonna be doing with all this time on my hands. So my main idea is time home is gonna give me time to do lots of cool stuff. So my main, how should I say that? My main idea is with all this free time, I have lots of plans, yeah. With all this free time, I have a lot of plans. Now that I know what my main idea is, I can kind of work out what it is that I'm going to write in my body paragraphs. For example, as you might imagine, this way, as you might imagine, I'm going to spend a lot of time in the ocean. So already, before I even do much writing, I already know I'm going to be doing a lot of surfing. Been doing a lot of that already. I'm going to be taking out my sailboat. And I'm going to be doing a lot of kayaking. I already did some of that too. Okay, My son and I are probably going to do some snorkeling and some scuba too. But I'll add that in later. And you might imagine I'm also going to be spending a lot of time in my garden. I've already been there. What am I going to do in my garden? Before I even think anything else, I'm already realizing I'm going to be planting because it's spring. Spring has sprung. I think, I think in my garden, I'm probably also going to be trimming some trees back. I'm going to be doing some maintenance. I'm going to be maintaining my garden. Got some things that I've been wanting to fix there. So this will give me a chance to do that. I'm not sure what else I want to write in there right now. And then, of course, the last thing that I'm going to be doing a lot of, a lot is I'm going to be doing a lot of reading. And man, do I have a lot to put in here. I don't know if I have enough lines for that, because I've already got a stack of books, like pew, a huge stack of books. I'm going to be reading some Ernest Hemingway. Oh, that's not going to work. In fact, let's see. Oh my god. What's the first? 
first book I'm going to read. I'm going to be reading For Whom the Bell Tolls. The classroom bell does not toll for you because we are not in school. I'm going to be reading some Hemingway. And even though it doesn't look like I'll be going to Columbia, at least not this year, I'm going to be reading 100 Years of Solitude, which is a book about Colombia. So I'm going to read a little bit of Garcia Marquez as well. And now that I've got these things in here, I've got, I've got these three things all connected to my main idea, right? Easy. Why did I put ocean here? Because I've got a lot of plans for the ocean. Why did I put garden here? Because I've got a lot of plans for my garden. And why did I put reading here? Because I have a lot of plans to do a lot of reading. So now that I've said that, I want to make sure that I have a little main idea for each of these sections as well. What am I really trying to say about all of this stuff that I have under the ocean? Get it? Under the ocean? <laughs> yeah. What am I really trying to say? I'm trying to say that I already do a lot of things in the ocean, so having time is going to give me time to do those things. So I'm going to say I'm just going to take advantage. That's going to be my, my big idea here, okay? I mean, this is almost like a dream, right? Like I live in San Diego, and there's sunshine, and I can't catch any viruses by being in the ocean, so off I go. This is great. I'm going to take advantage. But what about my garden? How is that going to help? Well, the thing is, is that a garden takes a lot of time. A lot of time. But now I have time. So now I'm going to say I have time finally. I have time finally to plant things. I have time finally to maintain my garden. And the best part is it's perfect time of the year. It's springtime. So this is like perfect. I have the time to do these things. And I have a lot of plans to do them. I'm going to take advantage of these things. And of course, I have a lot of plans to do them. And what about reading? I think this one is important because I have had lots and lots, lots of books on my list that I've been wanting to read. So not only am I going to take advantage, but I'm going to say I finally, I finally can read what I want. I get lots of time to read. I've been wanting to read some of Hemingway's novels. I get to do that now. I've been wanting to read this amazing book, 100 Years of Solitude. I get to do that now, so it's pretty cool. But how should I, what should I do next? So I've got kind of this idea. I know what I'm going to say in each paragraph. I can add some new things into each paragraph. I'll probably come up with that in the next couple of minutes or maybe a couple of hours as I walk around the house. When you come back on tomorrow, you'll see I've added some stuff. And now I can go back to the hook. I can think about what I could say. For example, I might say, what are you doing with all this free time you have off? Because obviously whoever reads this is probably in their house like I am going crazy, right? Um, maybe I'll put in some background info. Maybe I'll talk about what's happening, you know, how... How, you know, I should have been woken up today to go to work, and now here I am just at home doing a video lesson, okay? And I know how to restate the thesis, I know how to sum it up, but I'm going to ask you guys right now, I'm going to kill the video in just a moment, I'm going to ask you guys to have at least these basic things in a flea map for tomorrow, okay? So I want you to have your flea map filled out, add as many things as you can, Try to fill out these other sections as best as you can. You'll see how I do it tomorrow in my video, and then we'll begin to take it and put it into an introduction. We'll do some drafting together, okay? That's Mr. Courtney's writing lesson for today. We are writing a report. It's going to be a five-paragraph essay, no different than what we've done in class. You feel free to come up and you can use mine if you'd like. You could say with all this free time I have lots of plans or if you'd like you can come up with a different main idea. You know maybe there's something more important that you want to write about or maybe there's someone you want to write something to and you see that there's categories that you can discuss in there. Okay this report structure will work for all of that.
okay? It's Mr. Courtney. It's March 18th. I miss you all. Kind of. And I will see you tomorrow. Please leave comments below for me, okay? Goodbye.